Okay, so there's two ways that we can actually get this player to move the other way, right? So if I just show you this game now, obviously it's going up, down, left, right with the arrow keys that we've programmed. Now, before you actually make your decision, watch the full um, video because you might want to change or you might want to choose one way and stick to it. Really, it doesn't matter, um, but obviously watch the video before you uh choose so the first way we are going to duplicate this sprite so if you look here where it's got s player uh, if i right click and go to duplicate you can see it's got s player 2 now what i'm going to do i'm going to name this one s player left um, and what i really should do is call this one s player right um, if i just rename that one there and we'll add right to the end of it now because these are all linked it doesn't matter it'll still work but if i double click the left and then go to edit image. I'm going to use the image editor and in here. And what we can do is we can flip this. Now, if I just go to flip uh, selected frames, oh, no, sorry, not flip, it's mirror. So mirror selected frames, you can see now that's gone the other way. And then I can close that and close that. And then what we do, we have to edit our code. So if I double click on the O player and if I go into the right key now at the moment as you can see it just says variable x so what we are going to do is you're going to use this option here so called set sprite so what this will do is it, you will set the sprite to for example this is the right one so we're going to set the sprite to right and then when we do the key down left which is here we can then do the same thing but the only difference is you're going to do key down towards the left now when I play this if I go right and then I go left you can see it's flipping around as you would expect okay so that's obviously one way to do it and as you've probably worked out now if you want to do up uh, and down you would use these set sprites then again and you would have then s player left s player right s player up s player down Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Now, the other way of doing it is a little bit of a, a cheat way, but I'll show you it anyway. So I'm just going to delete this left out. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this frame here because I'm not actually going to need it. Okay, so what we are going to do is I'm going to double click on the right and I'm going to set get rid of that set player. Now, what we can do is we can use something called an instance scale. So if I drag that in and leave that now as it is, because it's the right key. So horizontal and vertical are set to one and one. That's fine. But in the left option, if I drag in an instance scale and set this to minus one, what that will do is it'll flip whatever sprite is there around the other way. Now, if I play this, and just show you so if I go right and now when I press left it goes the other way now you probably notice with this one there's quite a big jump so it's almost as if it's jump in between now if you are going to choose this way you have to change something else as well so if I go into the player sprite what you do is you change this origin in the top here so you can see it's set the top left at the moment if you set it to middle center that then stops the jump in so if i go right and then go left you can see there's a much smoother transition there than it was before now either way is all right um it's not really going to matter uh, if you are going to do the up down left and right you might want to just make all of the player sprites uh, as they go uh, but obviously it's totally up to you